Hi everyone and welcome to episode number nine of our Configmas 2023. My name is Johan and in this demo I will show you how Config Manager OSD is using the unattend XML file for automating the Windows setup. And that means demo time. First, as you probably know, the unattend XML file is used to automate the Windows setup engine. Config Manager by its own will generate a file on the fly during deployment so that when you deploy a sequence with a normal machine, internet access and all that good stuff, it is fully automated by default. However, there may be scenarios where you want to modify that XML file yourself. So first of all, how do you see what settings that are available in a file? Well, here I have a WIM file. It's a fresh Windows 11 23H2, updated now in December. If I open up the system image manager tool that comes with ADK installation, I can open up an image. And if there is no catalog file already, this tool is going to generate that catalog file. Now, that may take a little bit, but due to the magical video editing, I will simply cut away that weight. So here we are a few minutes later, and the system image manager tool has now generated the catalog file. If I go over to the file system, you can see you have this CLG field created here, and that's the catalog that you will see here in the System Image Manager tool. Now, the tool have a fascinating user interface, but it's not too bad once you start to get a hang of it. Anyhow, here you will see all the various components that Windows Setup understands. So for example, if I'm interested in modifying something for the out-of-box experience, I can head down to the shell setup section. I can expand that one. So I can select this one here and that will show me what settings that are available. If I wanted to create a new under 10 file, I can do that right here. And then I can go ahead and right click and add that to pass seven, meaning the out of box experience pass. Now, if you go to any of these settings and you hit F1 on the keyboard, it will take you to this reference here. This is where you have all the available settings for unattend XML. And if you scroll down to components, this is where you, for example, find the shell setup that I'm having open right now. And if you click out of out of box experience, click this one here, this is where you see what the different settings really mean. Now, when can this be useful? Well, for example, if you deploy a normal config manager client that have internet access, the default settings or default template that Config Manager generates will work just fine. But if you deploy it to a machine that does not have internet access, it's going to look exactly like this, where you get prompted for some information during the out-of-box experience. What if you don't want to do this? Well, that's a scenario where you create and customize your own under 10 file. So to do that, you generate an attend file and you add the settings in that you want to have. And then in Config Manager, you create a package. So here I have created a package. Call it Windows 11 settings. If I go to that folder, you can see this is a normal package that contains just the unattend XML file. And in this particular unattend XML file, I have added a value that does not exist in the config manager template. And that is this value right here. Because if I show you a configuration file that has been created on the fly, like this one here, from a machine called test number three that I deployed earlier today. That one does not have those settings, but you can see that Config Manager injected things like the time zone, the admin password encrypted, or at least hashed, uh, the domain name, username and password to join the machine into the domain, the OU, and a run synchronous command line that runs uh, later in the process. But this one here, I've added in this one too. So, what you need to do in the sequence is the following. Go to a sequence, 
this is my sequence with an XML file. I edit that one. And I have simply gone down to my apply operating system step. And I have selected this checkbox here, appointing it to that package, and I have defined the unattend XML file. And now the sequence is instructed to add this one to what it normally adds itself. And that means if I deploy a machine without internet access, which I did here, it will instead look like this, showing you the normal login prompt and the machine is ready. Something to be aware of is that Config Manager is very picky about the unattend XML structure. For example, I may or may have not created an attend file that wasn't entirely accurate. And um, if I go to that folder here, I have the log file from such attempt. If I open up that log file, go to the beginning and start search for an attend XML, you can see here that the sequence tried to run OSD apply OS XE and it had replied the unattend XML file from that particular package. That was the package I showed you earlier. If I continue to search, about here, I had an error, failed to load the existing answer file. And you can see a few lines above it that there was an XML parsing error at line 14, character five. I have simply forgot to add in an end tag to one of the sections. But if you go to the GitHub repository, not this one here, that was the reference from before, GitHub com deployment research, DR files, scripts, config mass 2023. This is where you can find the sample I used here in the demo to have a config manager client not stopping just because the machine did not have internet access. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.